Hello campers. Take two. Hello campers. <laughs> Nuts. Sorry, um, this is not important, but <laughs> um, yeah, pickups is number 113 so soon. Um, I complained at the beginning of my last video, which was a pickups video. I, you know, I only seem to do pickups videos all the time. Well, it feels like I'm doing it all the time because even though it's sort of the last thing between the last one and the one before the previous one was. It's about a month and a half, so obviously I don't do them all the time, but that's how it felt. But um, with this one coming so soon after the other one, probably just over a week, maybe, you know, like, you know, that is sort of coming true. But anyway. Um, no, I didn't really... Sorry. I've got a package open. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to make this video. Because um, that's quite an old school thing, pack, uh, package opening. When I first started making videos on YouTube, everyone did it. And as time went by, less people did it. And then no one does it. And I, I fancied having another go because it's always, always, it's always tense. I was like, someone has done it recently. I thought, who it was? Well, you order something off the internet and then um, you film yourself opening it up just, and uh, sort of, for the viewer, the best result is if, is if it's shit. <laughs> if it's like a a proper lemon that you've been sent and you've paid a load of money for it. But um, now I've got a package to open. Um, I'll leave that to the end. Uh, uh, the, the other main reason for doing this video is because um, I had a probably one of my best uh, charity charity shop finds in a long time uh, yesterday, about lunchtime. I was just out in a, one of, a high street near me at lunchtime and thought I'd like a sly detour into a charity shop and pretty glad I did or well, all the charity shops I went I went along the high street because they, they've got a few there in Southgate and um, one of these one of them had just had a from the door a whole shelf full of stuff that wasn't there the time before just right like that and I could see it was a uh, bit of Wii bit of 360 bit of PS3 load of PS2 and probably a few other things but and um, so the thing is, when you get when you get sort of you see it from a distance, you go, oh, "That's going to be that's going to be lots of sort of crappy titles, isn't it?" And you get, then you get up close and you go, "Oh shit, it's not. This is good stuff." But then you, next in line, you think, um, you think, "Yeah, good titles," but I wonder what their prices are like. And then more often than not, when the good titles are still on the shelf, you look at the prices, and the prices are a little bit too high for charity shop prices. Maybe maybe not for normal prices, but charity shop prices are a little bit too high. Um, in this instance, no. Everything was in my favour and I got really, really lucky. Um, like a knob, didn't have my uh, camera with me. Um, that's the thing. When you start doing... A, um, when you start doing... Uh, filming yourself going in charity shops, it's, it's really disappointing and frustrating when you don't have your camera with you and you find something good because you really want to... All those times you go into shops and there's nothing, and you've you've taken your camera with you, and nothing. It's disappointing. But then the time you do go into a shop, and you see something, but you haven't got your camera with you, it's just just does you nothing. But and this was one of those instances. But I tweeted, I took a photo or a photo or two and tweeted. <laughs> so people who people who follow me on Twitter will, will see, will already know what I got. What I got. What I've bought. Um, it's not games. Uh, yeah, because I bought a couple. I've mixed it up. I'll, I'll stop. I'll stop waffling. Uh, if, anyway, the first two things are, are films. There you go. I'll show them like that. Um, from a charity shop, How's Moving Castle for two quid. It's a great film. And uh, one I didn't have and one I wanted to watch. So... Not much more to say. <laughs> and this one, can't really see the, uh, the title. It's it's. How would you say that? Record wreck. Sound a bit of a knob saying wreck, wreck two, or wreck squared, wreck two, two. It is the second film in the series. Uh, I've not seen the. F no, I have seen the first one. I've seen bits of the first one. I've seen bits of the American remake. Both really good, or reputation wise, both good. I have seen this one. 
Um, I, I've heard people on YouTube, people I know and people I watch, um, saying this wasn't very good. I, I, I have a different perspective. I shat my pants. <laughs> Pop it off. The first one is quite sort of a pure zombie movie, I think. No, it's, it's slightly different. It's more sort of atmospheric, I think. The idea is that there's a there's a, an outbreak of some sort of viral infection inside a an apartment block in Barcelona, and there's a news crew and um, some firemen go in to investigate. And essentially, the film is from the perspective of the the news camera. And uh, so, th for the series, it's, that's their that's the thing. It's always from the perspective of a, a sort of first person perspective video camera. In this instance, it's a SWAT team who go in to investigate um, some sort of sinister goings on with a priest, and uh, a lot of it is obviously like uh, point of view, first person. Pooed my pants. The third one's more straight up sort of comedy zombie film, which I enjoyed. I think maybe people might have problems with it, but I, I did enjoy. They're all stylistically they're all quite different, but this one I chat my pants, and I fa fancy the blue range. Only a quid. Right, games. Um, the first, there's a little pile, I won't, I won't lie, but uh, most of them came all in that one batch. They're not all from that batch, but some of them are. Um, the first four uh, games were um, just random charity shop buys and one from, um, one from CX. Uh, Resistance three, ninety nine p. Um, yeah, the, there's a whole load of uh, PS3 games. I'm not too bothered about having proper copies of. If anything, this would be ideal if I could get like all the all the um, FPSs like this kill zone. If I could get them all as um, if I had copies of them as uh, promos. Um, I would, but I'm not necessarily bothered about having proper copies, but promos would be ideal because they don't take up much space, but I still have copies of the game. And in a lot of instances, games like this that are everywhere and sort of run of the mill, you, games you want to play but not necessarily worried about, you know, um, any sort of collectability. Collectability. I it bothers me when games like that take up space. And that's one of the reasons why I might eventually ship them on, because they take up space. And this is one of them, because, you know, I could get this game any time I like if I wanted to go and went to CX. But this would be perfect to have as, because it's just, you know, stick it on like that. It doesn't take up any, any space. But it's a game I wanted to play, I wanted to try. Um, it's a... Uh... I've got to start doing that. Just, I did that last time. I went like that. With my hand, hit my mouse, and the video stopped recording. I think my mouth's slightly out of sync, isn't it? But yeah, um, games like Killzone, you know, it's sort of um, run, not run of the mill, but um, exclusives. That's what I meant to say. Exclusives. They're, they're PS3 exclusives. Games I wanted to play, but not not necessarily. Um, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Bit of variation for my PS3 collection set up. Um, I have no, I have very few racing games, but I do enjoy them. And um, I'd heard through certain avenues that the MotorStorm games were good. I won't tell you who said said they were good, um, but I've heard they were good. And this was two quid in a charity shop because I had been looking at it, and they were they're about sort of three or four quid in CX. So I sort of did know that that was sort of cheaper than elsewhere. So that would probably do me for PS3 um, uh, racing games, I think. And this one, for, this is actually from CX. Uh, this is purely based on one, one well-known YouTuber's um, like for the game, touted it, and uh, I just wanted to try it, but I wasn't willing to pay that much for it. <laughs> uh, I'll show you. If, see if you can guess who... Who this recommendation is, is from? Um, it, it cost a quid, and that's about as much as I was prepared to pay for it. On the recommendation of Pete Snestastic. Oh no, he's not. Is that a Jehovah's Witness? 
I'm looking out, I'm, I'm sat right in front of the big window. I, can, I saw this bloke in a suit go up my neighbour's drive. Please don't be a Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, Medal of Honour. Um, Pete, fantastic, loves it. Um, I'm more dub I'm more suspicious, dubious. Is that the right, right term? I don't know. But I, I, one pound is about as much as I was prepared to pay. I just want to see if it's good, you know. Um, I'm not holding out much hope. <laughs> yeah, I thought, uh, why not? And finally, as I was saying earlier, you can use the data tiles. As I was saying earlier about when you go, sometimes you go into charity shops and you see a load of games, and uh, uh, you, when you see, even you see them, actually good titles. You you initially think, I bet the prices are a bit high. That's why there's lots left. And when I got this, this was one of those instances. Um, it, there was a lot on the shelf. There was um, GTA 5 and things like that and uh, PS3 and oh the, I forgot what else there was but there was a lot and it was uh, pricey uh, not not pricey but not your standard PS3 prices so which sort of put me off because I didn't know about certain games I wasn't nece necessarily willing to take a punt on certain games I didn't know if the prices were accurate or you know as you know whether I could get them cheaper elsewhere because that's important to me but this one was only um, was only two pound fifty. Turns out that's about the money. <laughs> but um, I've, I just wanted to give it a punt. I wanted to give it a punt, and it's it's not an expensive game. But um, ew, I just spat on the screen. Um, but yeah, I mean, everything's getting a, a sort of a zombie spin nowadays, isn't it? And uh, I'm I'm willing to give them all a punt, all a go. Right there you go. Um, more charity shop. There's the next lot. Actually, it's all the charity shop stuff. From now to the package, it's all charity shop stuff. These these two here, these two here came uh, last week sometime. Um, I was I think it was this one Saturday. I was doing like a grand tour of charity shops. I picked a route. I thought, yeah, I've not been there in a long time. I'll go and look through the charity shops to see if there's anything new. And um, I didn't get much, but um, actually, I think that's when. Um, I got Resistance and Howl's Moving Castle by the same day. Um, but these were the best two game finds. Um, sealed PS2 games. One I didn't have, Mystic Heroes. I um, wasn't so concerned about this game. I, I was aware of it. Um, a decent pedigree as far as publishers are concerned. But it's it's sort of um, it's like a Dynasty Warriors type game, and they you know I'm never too bothered about them because I don't know they they do get a bit repetitive, but it was something that it's one of those sort of sorts of games where you know you'd like to try. Is he going to come on my drive? He is. I've just seen he's he's just come out of my my neighbour's drive. He's, he's coming down the hill. No, don't look, don't. I can see him. He's he's looking at my house. What are you looking at my house for? <laughs> he's coming up my drive. He's coming up my drive. I'm not sure he's Jehovah's Witness. He's going to knock on my door. He's knocked on my door. I'm going to have to go and send the bugger off because he. I can't hide because the window's open. So I'll give you five minutes. He, um, he wasn't um, Jehovah's Witnesses. Witnesses. Um, he was. Um, he, the first thing he says is, "I'm not selling anything." Well, he was. He was selling cavity wall insulation. Why do you say I'm not selling anything and then try and sell me something? Do I look like a mug? Don't answer that. Um, yeah, anyway. <laughs> £1.75 for a, a sealed uh, PS2 game that I didn't have, which is, you know, not not particularly sought after, not that common, but, um, yeah. Sort of like a Dynasty Warriors game from, from the same people, but a bit more um, sort of cartoon-like, a bit more, you know, as you can see. Um, I think it's relatively new. Oh well, maybe not. Two thousand three. So that's not that new in the PS 3s life. PS 2s life lifetime. And the best of the two, Gregory Horror Show. One I've already got, so I won't lie. This was for purposes other than um, playing. Although I might swap it over because I've got this. But do I want a seal copy? Because that means I'm less likely to play it, because I've played my copy. 
So, I don't know. I mean, would it be... F no, I don't know what... Anyway, anyway it, um, 175, that, uh, that was a bit of a no-brainer. So, sort of uh, two sealed PS2 games. Um, they had four. They had an NBA game, which I wasn't interested in, and I left one, which was Gumbird. The uh, Gumbird... Um, Pack it was Gunbird one and two on the PS the PS two releases Gunbird one and two, so I left that. Um, I left it. I don't know. I, was, I just again it was another one. I I didn't want to come away with a load of games that I've already got because you know I got one. I'll, I'll have one, but I didn't want a whole. Sorry, that was the wrong one. I didn't want a whole pile of games I've already got that would only be for one thing for for moving on. But um, so. Gregory Horror Show one it, it was a good game and um, I'm just talking bollocks now but yeah anyway <laughs> right th this is from this is from the good batch of games from from the charity shop from yesterday my lunchtime little jaunt um, yeah. Uh, I was going up High Street, went into its scope in Southgate, if anybody knows. I wouldn't be surprised. It's Saturday now. I wouldn't be surprised if um, they've got more there. But um, that was, sort of, yeah, like I said, Friday lunchtime. Um, I hadn't seen much. Went in through the door that day. Went in through the door. Um, could see from from uh, the door a whole shelf of games that weren't there last time. I think I'd been in there about the week before. Weren't there last time. Um uh, you think, yeah, great games, but then your second thought is they're going to be football titles, they're going to be sports titles, aren't they? They're going to be sing star, but then got closer. No, they weren't. They were good titles, and then your next thought is they're going to they're going to be slightly expensive, aren't they? And uh, in this instance, no, they weren't. They were they were um, PS2 games. There's some PS2 games here. They were one fifty. Um, it's a PS3 game. It's two fifty. A Wii game. It's three quid. And another PS2 game that's three quid. So and it came to about fourteen quid in total, which, judging by a bit sort of uh, considering the titles, I was prepared to pay. That's, that's probably more than I've I've spent in the charity shop in a long time. But um, yeah, uh, first one, uh, Uncharted: Drake's Fortune. Um, it's the first game. Uh, I'm sort of getting into into the sort of the the Uncharted swing, you know. Everyone everybody's talking about Uncharted Four, and it does look great. I mean, um, I've got Uncharted Two, and a, a few people have said to me, um, "You should probably play them in order." And I thought, okay, yeah. And I've been looking since the release of Uncharted Four. I've been sort of really in, into the groove, into the mood, in the mood to play it, or at least the series. And um, since the release. CEX prices have gone up more than doubled. I think this one was three quid before the release of Uncharted 4. Since then, by sort of uh, as this time of whatever what was that what's that term time of anyway at the moment <laughs> um, it's now eight quid. I'm sure I'm sure it is eight quid. Um, so it's more than doubled, which. Bit of annoyance, but um, so yeah, this was uh, one of the things I thought that was one of the games I didn't have. Is so a few of these, few of these games are um, doubles, we are all for upgrades, but this is one of the ones I didn't have and one of the ones I wanted because, like I said, I want to play them in order because obviously it is an ongoing storyline, isn't it? And that was that was the one that was two pounds, two pound fifty. So bearing in mind that I knew that the price of this had gone up in the computer exchange, um. I knew two pound fifty was a good price. Right. Um, next four are probably the best four, um, but they're all duplicates. But more for more as upgrades or I don't know. I haven't really checked the, to see the, the standard of my copies, but um, I, I won't s say too much about them. But this is the general standard. Project Zero Three. Uh, from Awesome Games in Walthamstow. No, it's actually uh, from the charity shop in Scope. There you go, £1.50. So, first no-brainer. And, and the actual condition is lovely. It's all complete and really, like, 
discs are great. It's someone who had a really good taste in games. Because the guy behind the counter said I was the first person to um, to buy any, anything from that little selection that had been donated because he said they'd been donated the day before and he put them out that day and um, nobody had bought anything until I got to them. And whoever it was, had a, like I said, had a really good taste in games because the second one is Shadow Hearts Covenant. Um, also a game I have. I'm not sure. I th this is, in, again, really nice nick. I've got a feeling my copy might not be as good as this, so this might be an upgrade. And it has both discs and a really um, Brand Harry Spanker's uh, manual. Um, I like, really like the Shadow Hearts games, actually. They're sort of a... Sort of like a weird gothic horror RPG, slightly um, slightly adult. <laughs> Atelier Iris Two, um, not from Awesome Games, from I Icon Three Games, wherever that is. Um, yeah, Atelier Iris Two, uh, another one totally worth having. So again, that was one pound fifty. These last three have been one one pound fifty each. So two discs. All in there, and um, Silent Hill Collection. Another again, another one I've got. Um, really heavy. It's got all the manuals because it comes with individual discs and just the standard manuals. So you could actually, you could probably compile yourself one of these if you really wanted to. You could you could buy the separate discs and the separate manuals. Get um, a case from somewhere. You can get these. I think like the Prince of Persia collection uses the same three, three disc case. Just print out a sleeve, and then you pretty much have one of these. So, again, I don't know if this is better or worse than my version, but I wasn't going to leave it on the shelf, you know. But it looks like I've got a lot, and there's still more to go. But there's I left a lot. I left. I've actually written down. Um, I left. Valkyria Chronicles on the PS3, um, Forbidden Siren on the PS2, Ves uh, Tales of Vesperia, We Love Katamari, um, uh, Champions of Norath 2, that's Champions Return to Arms, I think, uh, Death by Degrees, sort of a Tekken spin-off, I wasn't sure about that, it's like a sort of a crappy third-person brawler, I didn't think it was any good, uh, GTA 5 on the PS3, R-Type Final, Little Big Planet, and a shed load of more stuff. Um... Uh, Twilight Princess on the Wii, um, Indiana Jones Lego on the Wii, just generally a lot of stuff. So it might still be there. So if you do know Scoping South, go go have a look. But um, so yeah, I mean I could have spent more, but again, I wasn't sure. I don't. I didn't want. I don't want to. In those situations, obviously my luck was in. I didn't want to get greedy, but I did take the best bits. <laughs> well, the best bits in you know, in my opinion. Um, two that I don't have Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex love the film love the anime don't really know as much actually no it's, this isn't of the this is of the television programme isn't it the spin off television programme I don't really know so much about that but um, again it's in, it's in great condition as a little uh, cardboard sleeve so see look cardboard sleeve but um, it's obviously from the same person because they like to leave the price labels on I couldn't have that. I have to take price labels off. But um, I don't know so much of the game. I think it... I'm guessing it's like a sort of a third-person sort of actioner, like stealth. Stealth actioner. You can play... Oh, you play as two characters. Makoto. That's um, Kusanagi, isn't it? Or Batu. Oh, no, three. Or Think Tank Tachikoma. Multiplayer combat of up to four players. Maybe it is like a, a fighter, I don't know. I, I, like, it, like I said, I don't know so much about this game, but um, again, it was only £1.50, so... Um, being a fan of the film, rather than the... or generally, of the series... Well, that's a bit of a lie, because I've never seen the television programme, but anyway... <laughs> So again, there's another one. I'm not. I'm not shy to have a too shy to have a punt. I'm not really losing out. Um, and another one I didn't have. Um, Akami on the Wii. Um, by no means sort of an expensive game. Uh, again, in really nice nick. Um, this sleeve 
um, is the exclusive HMV sleeve, apparently, which is really nice. I much prefer it to the to the main cover. It's really nice. It's just a really nicely done. When people talk about lovely artwork, I think you can pretty much say it about that. Um, yeah, I've, I've got the PS2 game in this, PS2 version. Um, like certain games, like I'm not bothered about having... I don't generally keep multiple versions of games on different uh, systems, but if there's a reason to keep them, like a different control scheme, which obviously you're going to get with the Wii, you get with this, um, you get it with things like Pikmin, you get it with things like um, Resident Evil 4, it makes a, a different sort of game, maybe improves it, but or maybe it not, it maybe makes it different like a slightly different feel to it so it makes in my eyes it means that it's a reason to have both versions so and using sort of like the sort of uh, the Wiimote motion controls it's it should lead to a sort of a quite a quite different gameplay experience but yeah so that that was my sort of jammy little score my jammy little um charity shop score from yesterday which I can't really complain about Right, yeah. Um, bugger. I had scissors. Where's the scissors gone? Balls. Hang on. I've got to go and find my scissors. They were under the package. <laughs> Look at this. I, I bought a PS1 game. I won't, I won't like, um, I'll tell you what it is. It's a PS1 game. Look at the package it came in. At least I think it's a PS1 game. I don't think anyone's just sent me some random, like ra anything ra sort of general, general random thing. But it came like this. Um, cut it open. So yeah, um, yeah, it is. It was what I was expecting. Um, not done one of these in a long time. Uh, as I said, like a, an on-camera. Jesus. It's a really weird bit of pa good packaging, but weird. Can't work out how to get into it. I basically destroyed. <laughs> I basically destroyed a, an envelope. Hmm. Oh, I see. Sort of like an I, a whacking great envelope, sort of doubled over. Yeah, with extra um, extra bubble wrap and uh, ooh, lovely. Yeah, and on the inside, case slightly broken, but I'm not bothered by that. Disc is about seven, which I'm perfectly happy with. Um, yeah, I was looking on. Um, I'll show you what it is in a minute. <laughs> looking on eBay last week sometime, and um, uh, just generally perusing, and something popped up on my homepage as 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 things do, and um, clicked on it. I thought it was the first. Um, Sort of like a minimum price in an auction, but it turns out it was a buy it now price because it was it was low for this game, and um, it was my birthday, sort of the beginning of May, about a month ago, and I still I haven't really bought myself anything, so um, this is essentially a birthday present to myself, and um, I, I couldn't really ignore it because it's a a really good price, in some respects half of what people are prepared to pay to it, pay for it, but that's that's maybe high. Um, I'll show you anyway. I paid sixty quid for this. It's a PS One game. Um, one of the, as people are fond of saying at the moment, heavy hitters. I suppose you call it. There you go, Tombi. Go on, let's have a copy of Tombi. Sixty quid. Buy it now price. Um, Three pound postage. The the seller um, actually spent about four quid on postage. So all round, this seller is a bloody brilliant seller. So I'm really chuffed. That that seller's going to get top marks for for. Um, Top marks for uh, yeah feedback. I knew about the, the two cracks, so that's okay. Everything else is pretty much spot on. Um, yeah, it wasn't so high on my list because I knew I knew that the price it goes for, and I was being realistic about whether or not I'd ever sort of have a copy. 
but when this was sort of a realistically within my um within my budget i couldn't really ignore it and it must have been listed for um oh probably listed for less than an hour because otherwise i don't think they would hang around at sort of 60 quid because they regularly go for over 100 crazy people regularly pay over 100 for for this game but um i'm gonna have to change the case like i said so i'm gonna lose that sticker but i'm not that that's not that's sort of a minor concern um so yeah um as a to sort of what's the word um to what's the term <laughs> to sort of to balance it out slightly balance out the cost i've actually got one of the reasons why i was prepared to pay 60 quid for it um i've actually got i found going back a year or so now um a disc only copy so i'm going to sell that one on and pretty much hopefully should halve the cost of this i reckon i could probably get 30 quid for my disc only copy so um Essentially, if I've paid around about 30 quid for a copy of Tombi, I'm I can't really complain, can I? So, um, frustratingly, about two days after um, I bought and paid for this, um, before it arrived, um, again I was sort of sitting watching eBay on the on the homepage, uh, a listing for the um, the sequel turned up, popped up, it said nine quid again, I th or nine ninety nine. I thought, oh, that's going to be a that's going to be the, the starting price for an auction. I clicked on it, but it already sold. You know, it had that black banner saying, sorry, already sold sort of thing. I clicked on the actual listing. It says um, you can sort of look at the original listing. And that 9.99 price was obviously some sort of glitch because um, the price that the, per the, the seller was asking for was 25 quid plus postage on top for the sequel. So I missed, and I looked at the, uh, I looked at the time of sale and it was six minutes earlier than, than the time on the clock at the time. So I was gutted. <laughs> so I could have had sort of Tombi 1 and 2 for really low prices. I don't know why the, that second seller was listing it for 25 quid, but they were. I, mean, I think even this was slightly crazy price. But can't complain about this. I'm slightly frustrated about the other one, but anyway. <laughs> I don't know how long this video is because it's been a bit stop-start, so I'm going to have to go and... Um, Bit, put them all, all the bits together and see how long the whole video is going to be. But um, yeah, like I said, another another pickups video. Like I, I can imagine they won't be one for a very long time. Probably another month and a half. I don't know. But depends if I find anything or or I don't know. Anyway, you know it works. <sighs> if I do find something, I might um, take a photo of it and put it on Twitter first. <laughs> Right, yeah, so I'm gonna let you go. Thanks for watching, and um, yeah, look, uh, keep an eye out for. There will be other videos in between, sort of then and now. But I just want to try something different. You know, I might, I might start my uh, my XCOM Terror from the Deep uh, playthrough. <laughs> well, don't hold your horses. I might do. It depends if I'm feeling the need. Anyway, let you go. Thanks for watching. See you later.